Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Mass With Me on Mondays. So today, or actually last week, um, we did the Fresh Rose Face Mask. And, um, well, I did, and I don't know what you guys did, but I hope you did want something. And um, remember I had the roses in it, it smelled like rose, and um, it is by Fresh. And it was infused with real rose petals and hydrates and tones. And I had used this before. So my overall experience with this is, was great. Um, I still think it, my skin was very soft. I felt like it was hydrated. And I felt like my skin had a little bit more tone to it after I used it. Just like I normally do. So this is something that I do recommend. Um, it is pretty pricey. And I think you can get it on Sephora. And I think Fresh also, Fresh.com, I think. Or you can Google it. And find their website and you can order I think directly from fresh um, I think this the this particular mask is like I think for one ounce I think it was $25 I could be mistaken but I think it was because I'm thinking that it was like um, a little bit more than this one and this one was 0.5 fluid ounces which is half ounce and 15 milliliter if I'm not mistaken so um, it's kind of pricey, but like I said, it doesn't take much. I've used this quite a bit, so I really did enjoy this, and I really do like it. So it's something I want to keep on my rotation. Okay, so today we are going to do the moisturizing hand mask. And this is supposed to hydrate and freshen dry hands with coconut vanilla. And I've done this before, and it does really leave your hands very nice and soft. And as you can see, I mean, see I've got some redness going on. And I always get chapped right there. And I don't know if anybody's been watching the news for our weather up here in Indiana, but it is horrible. Oh my gosh. It has been snowing. I just got my my driveway, all my walk all shoveled out yesterday. And I got a nice little area in the yard shoveled out for Violet so she wouldn't have to... I mean, she's just a little thing, you know, so a little bit of snow and she, it's up to her, you know, little body. And so I shoveled out an area for her for potty and everything. And then this morning, about five o'clock this morning, it started coming down again. And by the time I got off work at 630 this morning, it was blowing and drifting and it's just, and it's still continuing um, we are under a winter advisory uh, right now. They say we could get, um, where I live, we could get up to three to six inches, another three to six inches of snow. And um, so, yeah, i am not been real happy with that. Um, so with the blustering wind and everything, um, it really takes its toll on my skin. Um, so they're getting chapped. They're getting red. I right across my knuckles is where they get chapped and red. Sometimes they get so bad they burn and just hurt. So um, before I do the mask, what I want to do is I'm going to do a scrub on them to try to get some of that deadened skin and everything off. Plus I get calluses right there from work and right in there. And I get very dry around my cuticles are always just so dry. So um, yeah, I really want to do a just a scrub on them first before I put the mask on to see if that might be help get some of that dead skin off and and slough it off and make a little bit better you know difference in my hands so that's what I'm going to do first so um, I'm just using I had this little thing for a long time it's by Mary Kay um, and it's a body smoothing scrub but I mean I use scrubs it doesn't matter I mean I've used this on my face I've used it on my body I've used it on my hands feet, you know, it, it works. So that's all I'm, I'm concerned with. So let me get some of that out. I might be out of this. I might have to grab another screw. Oh no, I got some. Here it comes. Okay, it's kind of thick like that. Do you guys see it? And then I'm just going to go over this a little bit. Maybe I should add a little bit of water. If I can get my water going. So anyway, it's just been super, super cold. I got up Friday morning and my furnace was like not working um, because I have a high energy efficient furnace and when it gets too cold, um, where the, the warm air, when it shoots out of the house, 
it's so hot that it just like creates a lot of condensation. And if the condensation does not get out of the, the exhaust pipe, then it shuts my furnace down. So then I have to turn a heater on and put it down in my basement underneath that pipe for a little while. So I got that working. And um, so, yeah. And then I had to get a new furnace filter, so I got that changed. And I had to get some water softening salt, so I got that, but I haven't got that added yet. And then, um, yeah, the weather's just going to be horrible and it's going to continue to get worse. Wednesday, we are supposed to have wind chills by uh, 50 below. So I've been making preparations for that, and I'll discuss that after a while with you guys here in a minute. Okay, see, I'm just scrubbing. I wet it a little bit, and I just really want to get over those areas really good where I have a lot, a lot of dryness. Okay, so I think that's good. So I'm going to rinse my hands. So how's the weather where you guys are at? I mean, I know, I know some people that watch me are in Florida. Uh, my mom's in Florida right now, and she says it's been kind of chilly down there. She said that um, their uh, pool has been, where she lives, it's like a, um, I don't know, it's like, I don't want to say compound, but, or a subdivision, but kind of like that. And um, she said their pool doesn't open if it's, uh, below 65 degrees and their pool's not been open for several days now. And uh, she said at night, you know, it's been getting down in the 40s. So um, let me grab a towel. So anyway, comment below where you guys are at and let me know, um, you don't have to give me the town, just give me your state. And let me know what your weather's been like because it's been horrible. And I've seen that it's gonna be going across the United States, you know. A lot of areas are getting hit with this Arctic blow, this Arctic chill. Um, and I'm having a hard time staying warm as it is. And so, yeah, and I'm really concerned with little Violet. You know, she can't handle that cold. Okay, so now we're ready to do, and this, you know, um, it did make a difference. My hands feel a lot softer and smoother. Um, so I like, I like that. So that's something I need to start doing a little bit more often. Let me get my hair on my eyes. Sorry, my hair, and I don't have any makeup on. I got up late yesterday to get to work. I didn't get any makeup on, and I had a really rough night at work, and I'm just getting kind of tired. And fighting the weather and having to shovel and all that kind of stuff. It's just been blah. Okay, so once you open this up, you're going to have two gloves, like so. And they are, like, sealed up. See right there? There's little scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those first before I put them on my hands. Oh, I guess I should be showing you guys, huh? And so then it's going to open. Okay, so I'm going to keep that one upright. So I can get the other one done so I can put this both, my, both my hands in there at not the same time, but... Because if you tilt it up, you're going to have to want to keep it down. Because if you tilt it up, it runs down your arm. And it's kind of the cold, so you don't want to do that. Can I get that one open? Yeah, I didn't get that one quite open. All right, let me cut that one a little bit more. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, there it goes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my hand into that glove. And then I'm going to kind of get it massaged in there. Kind of go over it like that. Just to kind of get it contacted in. And this smells like coconuts. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to grab the other one. And once I do this, I hope I can shut my camera off. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to just do the one, and then I'm going to pause you um, while we uh, bake here. So this is going to leave, we're going to leave this on for 20 minutes, okay? So I'm going to put the other one on after I pause you guys because I don't want to get my camera all gooked up. So I will see you guys in 20 minutes. You, whatever mask you're doing, whether you're doing a face mask or a hand mask, uh, take some time for you and relax during this time. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to 
take this off to get my camera going again. All right, so I got the one off. I'm going to take this one off. It's been 20 minutes, um, and it's, see how gooky my hands are? They're really gooky. So it says to massage the extra into your hands. So um, I'm going to take some time to do that. This takes a little bit before it starts drying down. So while it's doing, while I'm massaging it into my hands good, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you some things that I've been doing to get ready, ready for this wind chill um, watch that we're going to be going under. We're going to start our wind chill watch um, Tuesday night, Tuesday evening. And it's going to last, I think, until Friday. So somebody says the temperatures are just going to be horrible from Tuesday night on into Friday. And by Saturday, it's going to start warming up a little bit again. So, um, yeah, so I'm not looking forward to this at all. Um, so I'm making some preparations. And you may be thinking, how does somebody make preparation for a wind chill being that low? Um, well, one thing is that um, I have to have like a backup area for Violet. Um, she's not going to be able to withstand being outside for any amount of time um, to to do her potty in. Um, that, so I'm gonna ha I had to think of a backup potty plan. So what I'm going to do is in my garage. I've already cleaned out an area this morning for her, and I'm going to put. I got some industrial garbage bags that I'm going to uh, lay down on the floor. <clears throat> And then I'm going to uh, probably tape that down onto the floor if the tape will sit because it's pretty cold. Um, I'm going to try. And then on top of that, I'm going to um, put uh, potty pads down. And um, so we'll try, we're going to try that. Um, she used to, I used to have a potty patch thing for her when she was a pup. And she used it once in a blue moon. Um, but she never really kind of liked it. And it was kind of small for her to maneuver around you know dogs like to go around in circles and sniff and stuff so um i'm getting this is a pretty good size area i'm giving her um out in the garage so i'm hoping this works because i do not want to have to take her out um just breathing that cold up air in for her is going to be horrible i don't have you know they don't make doggy clothes that really cover them super well i can cover her part partly but not super super duper well so I'm really looking, um, I, I, so, you know, they say if you go out, you really need to be covered and everything. And, and I'm just really concerned with it. So that's what I'm doing for preparation for Violet. Um, also, I want to make sure I have plenty of drinking water in the house because um, our water can freeze. I have a well. I don't have city water. So my well can freeze up and then I'd be without water. So I'm making some preparations in case that does happen. Um, so I um, am getting, I've got some drinking water. I'm going to get some more and I'm also getting some gallons of water um, for, you know, like washing my face and brushing my teeth and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's a definite thing that we always need to stock up on um, when we go under this kind of, when we have this kind of weather. Um, I also am just going to stock up on some basic food, you know, just some basic food so that um, I don't have to get out in this weather if I don't have to. Um, if it gets really, really bad, I am scheduled to work Wednesday night. And if it gets really, really bad, I probably will not be going in. And then I'm off Thursday and Friday um, because, you know, I I can't get stranded. I mean, I'm not that far from work, but you can get stranded, you know, two minutes from your home or five minutes from work. And um, and, and then what, you know, I'm single. I have nobody to call in the middle of the night to come get me. And that particular night, I'm not scheduled to go into what, 1130 at night. And so that's pretty late. And I wouldn't want to really try to get anybody out in that type of weather to help either. So, um, yeah, that might be something I, I'm not going to be, maybe not going to work that night. Um, I really can't afford to do that, but you know what? I can't afford to, um, take a chance and get stranded and, um, either, you know, so that's not good. Um, something else, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I need to make precautions with? Um, oh, heat backup heating. Um, I do have, um, some backup heating because I've had some issues with, you know, my furnace freezing up because of condensation, like I said earlier. 
So I do have heaters. I have a big heater for the basement. I have a heater for the living room. And I have a heater for my bedroom. And then that, I have a gas uh, oven and stove so I can light that up and, and have um, a secondary heat source throughout the house. Plus I have a bunch of candles throughout the house too. And candles can uh, add a lot of warmth. So, um, plus I got tons of blankets and a lot of heavy clothing. Um, I just want to make sure I have like enough outerwear clothing to wear um, if I do have to get out and that kind of thing. Another thing, we always need to make sure we have enough gas in our vehicles um, because sometimes there's a little bit of water and gas and that, that can freeze up and then your car won't start and you could have some difficulties. So, I already went and gassed up today, so I got that ready and, and done. So I'm done with that. So I'm, I'm halfway there. I got a few more things to prepare for, but uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm on it. Okay, so now this is like really, really kind of sticky when it's done, you know? It just feels, that's one thing I do not like about this mask. It just feels kind of sticky for some reason. And so I just kind of let it dry a little bit more. Um, a little bit more and I can tell it's doing something right there it's not like irritating that but I feel like it's getting in there and really doing something I don't know whether it's uh I feel like I was already chapped right there and it probably was since it was red and see it's still it's still red yeah and I got a little cut there too so that might be another reason why but um that's always been my problem area is right there especially in this hand I don't know why I have a little bit on this hand but not as bad Okay, so um, I'm going to pause you guys for a minute because I forgot to get the other masks um, that I'm going to talk to you about in just a second. Give me a second. Okay, guys. Um, so my thoughts about this this mask so far. Um, yeah, it feels very sticky. It felt good while I had my hands in, the, in it, but it just feels really, really sticky and kind of gooey. So I might rinse them off. It doesn't say to rinse them off. It just says to... Um, you know, massage it in. I'm going to try to leave it on as long as I can. Um, but it about killed me going 20 minutes without having my hands. I mean, and putting them in there, you know, and everything. But, um, yeah, I have to do this because if not, my, my skin just gets horrible. So, um, that's pretty much it for the mask on this. And like I said, I like it other than the stickiness. Um, so next week, um, for Mask With Me Mondays, I'm going to give you guys the choice. You guys vote in the description below which one you guys want to do next, want to see done next week. Or if you want to join me, um, you know, that's great. You know, go get, grab the mask. And and the one that is kind of pricey, though, is the Tatcha that I got in my BoxyCharm. It is $12 um, per mask. And um, I got this from BoxyCharm. But I also think they sell, I think Sephora carries it um, as well. So, um, if you guys want to do this mask, um, or want to see it, see it done, um, vote for, vote for this one. Um, this one is supposed to be, it's Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Um, it's made in Japan. It's called Tatcha. Um, for centuries, Japanese women would, uh, brew botanicals into an enriched elixir captured with leftover kimono silk to create a mask. This practice inspired the silky soft skin fitting sheet mask that delivers a healthy drink of ultra hydrating botanical oils and extracts for a dewy glow in just one use. So um, it's, it's supposed to have a lot of really good things in there. Um, I'll go over that um, when I actually do the mask. Or, or we can do the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Hydrogel Mask with Hyaluronic Acid. Um, this you can get at uh, Target or Target is like $2.55 and then, or at Walmart they have them for $2.50 a sheet mask. So you guys choose. You guys vote and let me know which one you want to see done or um, if you want to go grab these and then do them with me, that'd be great. Um, so we want to do the Tatcha or do we want to do the Neutrogena Hydrogel? So you guys vote and let me know and I will post on Thursday of next week in the description what, which one I'm going to actually do, okay? So that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much with the weather talk, but it's kind of weighing on mine. I'm kind of concerned with it. Um, anytime we have, you know, extreme weather like this, I don't like it, and it it's it and it can be dangerous. You know, it really can be dangerous for people, and not just for me, but for everybody, you know, that's experiencing it. 
So um, I hope if you guys are in a, an area where the weather is going to be really horrible and it's just going to be, you know, very, can be life threatening. I just pray that and ask that you guys um, take the time to prepare for it and to stay indoors if you have to. If you have pets, please make sure you do not let your pets go outside or if you have outdoor pets make sure you bring them inside this is no weather for um, anybody or anything to be outside in it and um, and I hate I think that's just cruel when people do not uh, do that with their pets um, an interesting thing about that my area um, there's like some boarding um, facilities you know for kennels type things in my area that they, I've seen on Facebook, several of them are um, doing free boarding if you have like an outside animal that you have no way to have shelter for. They're offering free boarding that you can take your pet there um, so that they will be warm and they will not be outside in the elements. So that might be an option too if you have like an, an outdoor dog that you can't bring in for some reason. Um, check out your local um, kennels and boarding facilities and see if anybody is doing free boarding it for um, a few days. Um, and it's very, very important. It really is. So I'm going to shut up about all that. So you guys have a great day. Um, I got my mix match this morning. My UPS came this morning. Normally I don't get it till the afternoon, but the UPS guy must want to be getting off the road. And now there's a little snowstorm. So he got it here this morning. So um, I'm not gonna probably do that today because I'm about ready just to fall over. So I'm about ready just to go get in bed and sleep because like I said, I gotta be at work tonight. And then, um, so it might be Tuesday or Wednesday before I do the mix and match, but it's here. So you guys, uh, if you're interested in seeing that, you know, make sure you click the notification bell. So you'll be notified when I get that uploaded. If you're new here, before you leave, please make sure you click the subscribe button. If you like this type of thing, we do mask with me, we do unboxings, we do fashion, we do jewelry, we do vlogs, we do all kinds of things. So, um, yeah, we'd love to have you join our YouTube channel. We'd, it'd be great. And for all my uh, returning subscribers, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, comment. Give me your comments and your thoughts. So I'm going to get off here and quit yipping. You guys have a wonderful day, and i see you next time. Bye.